Well, I, I think anytime you're in a little bit of a rut and when uh, things are not going well, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of typical to kind of, for that to cross your mind. But I, I really felt um, if we provide some energy and if we just could get out and get a, get a little bit of a running game going, I felt we could, we could keep it somewhere around 10. And then just try to, you know, try to play off the energy of the fans if we could kind of get on a little bit of a run. I was, I was you know, a little disappointed in just the fact that we, we showed bad body language when, when that did happen. I thought it, it, it was just a, um, our guys did not respond. Um, and you can see it in their body language. And, and therefore, again, at that point, I was ready just to try to bring in energy guys, guys that would that would give us energy, that uh, that would not play like we were down by 15. Um, Ivan Johnson was really, I mean, he was really good today. I mean, his energy, uh, defensively, he was uh, very active. Um, he was a physical presence out on the floor tonight, both, both he and Z. Um, I thought that got Josh going a little bit. I thought he got, I thought he got Al going a little bit as well. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's going to take that. It's going to take one or two guys to, to, to get to get all the guys going. That's what, you know, that's what being the team is all about. Devin Harris, seven or eight, coach. I mean, he really got got in a groove with his shot. Devin, uh, <clears throat> you know, he knocked down some shots, but I think uh, I think the way he pushed that basketball, I, I thought that was the difference. Uh, when a guy's pushing that ball the way the way he is, you have to honor his his speed and his quickness, and therefore. The tendency is to play off on him a little bit, but yeah, he made some shots. He made some shots, but he made a tremendous impact on uh, you know in transition the open court. Uh, the one the one time he, he got to the basket in transition, and um, you know that's that's the Devin Harris of old. That's the Devin Harris I remember having to try to defend. Um, but he was really good today. He was really good. He was uh, he played under control. Uh, he kept us organized. Uh, and as I mentioned, I thought both he and Lou, the combination of those, both those guys on the floor at the same time, I thought was very effective. Coach, you guys got to the line a lot more. Obviously, last game you didn't really get into the line at all. Was there an emphasis on getting to the line more? It was a strong emphasis on that. You know, um, I mean, we feel we have guys who can make shots, and, and, and you know, we feel that we can, you know, we can make threes. Um, but we still have to play inside out, and, and I didn't want – to come a predominantly jump shooting team against a team that's uh, very disciplined defensively. Um, you know, Utah, both, uh, you know, Bill Sapp and, and Jefferson are very solid low post players. Um, and going into it, I knew we had to establish ourselves on the post with both uh, both Josh and Al, and, uh, you know, for that matter, Z as well. Uh, but again, our whole mindset was to try to play inside out. You know, for the most part, we did that. First half, we didn't do a good job with it. Second half, uh, we were much better. Just making a simple pass out of the post. Then the post is trying to do a cross, cross court. Just making a simple pass out of the post and getting the rotations. And second half, we did a better job with that. One last thing. Last home game, you know, we talked about the team mental toughness, and you kind of rehashed it a little bit on the road. What does this say about this team? Well, it certainly says that we have the ability to, to, to persevere. I think, um, you know, you lose – you know, four games in a row, and and you know, right before I shoot around, you know, I want these guys to really understand that this is this is the NBA. You know, you go through stretches of where you're not going to play well. You go through stretches where you're going to lose some games. Um, you know, I read off I read off a list of teams who have gone through losing streaks uh, stretches this you know thus far this season. Um, I mean, a few teams much worse than what we what we've been going through. Uh, but I want the guys to realize, hey guys, it's, it's the NBA, and it's that's, it's gonna happen. You know, it, it, you know, it's not okay, but you know, you have to accept it as professionals, and you have to move forward. And you don't, you know, you don't hold your head down and feel sorry for yourself because you lost four games in a row. You know, you you pick your head up and say, I can't wait for the next one because we're gonna get ourselves out of this rut. You know, our guys, um, I thought they did that tonight. I thought, I thought. For a moment, we kind of start feeling sorry for ourselves. But again, I thought the guys who came in off the bench, the energy guys, uh, provided that spark, provided that lift that we needed, and uh, it really, really got us going.